Yo, yo, what is up? So in this part, we're going to be adding the ability to, when we turn our flashlight on, you can see that we're printing string. It's going to drain uh, our battery charge. And then when it runs out, the flashlight will turn off. So simple enough. So yeah, let's hop into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hop in our first person character blueprint here. And we're gonna go down to where all of this stuff is that we did last time. And we're gonna add a variable. This one is gonna be, it's gonna be a Boolean. It's gonna be called um, flash, flashlight on question mark. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull this guy in. We're gonna set it. So when we turn the flashlight on, we're just gonna tick this guy. Then we're gonna pull it in again, and we're gonna take it off right here. So, next thing we wanna do is we're gonna add another variable, and this one's gonna be our flashlight charge. And this one's gonna be a float. And we're going to compile and save. And we're going to set our flashlight charge to 100. You can set it to whatever you want, but I'm going to set it to 100. And next thing we're going to do is we need to move some of this down right here. So after this part, we're going to create timer. Or let's see. Timer by event. Set timer by event used to be create timer by event, but I think they changed it in the newer version. So yeah, we're gonna make a timer for this. And on the event right here, we're gonna pull off and get a custom event. This is gonna be our flashlight charge timer. We're also going to off the return value here. We're just gonna right click and promote this guy to a variable. And this is gonna be our flashlight timer handle. So, next thing we're going to do, um, you want to set this guy to looping. For now, I'm going to set the time to 1. And so yeah, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our flashlight charge right here. And we're going to pull off of this guy and we're going to subtract. I'm going to subtract 1 every second. And yeah, that'll, that'll be how quickly you drain the battery. And then we want to pull in our flashlight charge again and we want to set this and we don't just want to plug this in um we're gonna actually clamp this so clamp float right here so set this up plug this guy in and the min value will be zero zero the max value will be whatever your max flashlight charge is so mine is 100 so i'm just going to set this guy to 100 and I'm just going to clean this up a little bit right here. So yeah. <clears throat> this will drain it. And now we need to choose what to do when it actually hits zero. So we're going to pull off of this guy. And we're going to get a less than or equal to zero. And we're going to press B on our keyboard and click to get a branch. So... If our flashlight charge is less than zero, we want to get our spotlight and set intensity. And we're going to set the new intensity to be zero. And then what we want to do is we're going to set flashlight on to be false. We're also going to grab our flashlight timer handle. Um, I'm going to leave this for a second because I kind of want to show you what happens if we don't do this. So for me, I'm going to do a little test right here. and I'm going to add a print string at the beginning of this. Print string. So we'll add this at the beginning. And what we want to print is our flashlight charge so we're gonna check what our flashlight charge is and uh i'm gonna show you how this timer works when it hits zero 
So right now it's just one second. I'm gonna make this a little bit faster so we don't just sit here for a minute waiting on it. I'm gonna set this to point 0.1 so that it drains one charge every point 0.1 seconds. So let's test that real quick. So yeah, now if I turn my flashlight on, you can see in the top left, it is uh, draining the battery. And when it hits zero, you can see it turned it off, but you can see it's still printing zero. And that's because the timer is still going. So whenever you make a timer like this, you want to clear and invalidate, which is why we made this into a variable right here. So when it hits zero, we want to pull off our variable here. We're gonna clear and invalidate timer by handle. So there's something else I wanna show you though. So let me just compile and save. So now we'll let it drain again. So when it hits zero, you can see it turned off, the timer went away. But now if I click, you can see it'll kind of turn on for a second. Uh, we don't want that to happen, so we're gonna make sure that doesn't happen. So we're gonna go in here and we're going to, uh, let's see. We're gonna grab this right here. We're gonna right click and we're gonna collapse this guy to a function we're gonna um call this function subtract flash light charge and we're gonna go over here to the right we're gonna make this a pure function and then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna grab this and this and we're gonna also make this a function so highlight those two your set flashlight charge and check to see if it's less than or equal to zero. We're going to collapse this to a function and we're going to call this check if charge is empty. Like that. So we're subtracting it and then we're checking to see if it's empty. We're going to open this guy up though and kind of clean this up and change the namings of uh, our output here. We have this output. And right now it just says return value. And we're just gonna rename it to charge empty, question mark. We're gonna come back. And you can see, we're checking to see if it is empty, then we, you know, set our flashlight to turn off and such. But we need this check to also be right here when we initially when we initially try to use our flashlight. So we're gonna grab our check if charge is empty function and plug this guy. Well, we don't need to plug that in yet. Let's just move some of this over. So you can see we have this input. So we need our flashlight charge right here. So just plug that in. We're checking our flashlight charge. And you can see we have this output here, which is checking if our charge is empty. So we need a branch. So press B on your keyboard and click to get a branch. And hook that guy up. So if our charge is not empty, so off the false, then we will allow ourselves to turn the flashlight on. So let's give that a test. So we'll let it drain down. And when it drains all the way to zero, we shouldn't be able to get that flashing when we try to turn it on anymore. So now if I click, we don't get any kind of flashing. It, so that fixes that issue. And um, I believe that's all we need to do for this one. So let me just double check here. So just to go over it again, we're checking to see if our charge is empty. If it's not, then we're setting our flashlight to turn on. And then we're setting a timer by event 
to drain our flashlight charge. And if our flashlight charge reaches zero, then we turn our flashlight off and we clear the timer by handle. And um, yeah, that's that's really all we need for this one. So, so yeah, that's all we're gonna do for this one. In the, uh, the next part, we're gonna go through and set up the UI. So instead of getting the print string in the top left, we'll set up a HUD and we'll um, make a progress bar so that it drains whenever we, um, you know, whenever the charge is being updated. But yeah, that's going to be it for this one. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you're new around here, definitely subscribe. If you have any questions, let me know those down in the comments. Also, if you have any recommendations for tutorials you want to see or systems you want to add to um, this system, let me know all that down in the comments. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.